Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Thomas, if I could begin by asking you, please, for your thoughts, whether you're disappointed, upset, angry, that Romelu has made his feelings of unhappiness so public. Yeah, we don't like it, of course, because uh, it brings it brings noise that we don't need and is not helpful. But uh, on the other side, we don't make want to make more out of it than it actually is. You know, you know very well how it is. It's uh, very easy to take lines out of context. It's very easy to to shorten lines, make headlines, and then later realize that it's not so bad and maybe not what he meant. Um, but let's be honest also with it. We don't like it. I don't like it, like I said, because it's noise that we don't need. Uh, we need a calm environment and focus, and this does not help. Did he sit down with you to discuss his unhappiness at the role he's playing at the moment? No, not at all. I, I, I don't feel him unhappy. I feel, I feel the exact opposite. If you asked me yesterday morning, I would say I feel the exact opposite. And that's why it's a surprise, but I'm the wrong person to ask. This is the kind of thing that's best kept behind closed doors, is what you're saying? Sorry? This is the kind of thing that's best kept behind closed doors. If, 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 yeah, if there is something, it, it, it's, it's behind closed doors, uh, for sure. Chelsea fans will obviously feel that this was a big summer signing. He was returning home, supposedly. And now he's already giving an interview saying that he wants to go back to Inter. Like I said, I mean, this is what you read into it, what everybody reads into it. I did not read it completely. Like, it's very easy to, in general, it is very easy to take lines out of context and take lines happen to, uh, and, and make headlines to to get the focus and uh, um, to get the best out of these uh, interviews for several days. If it's an interview from a person of, of that kind of interest, that important player, I totally understand the process and that's why it's a lot of noise, it's not only a, a little bit of noise, it's, it's a lot of extra noise, but, um, but, but, but still we are like not here to just read the headlines and, and maybe we here can, can take the time uh, to, to, to try to understand what, what's going on because it does not reflect the, the, the daily work, it does not reflect the daily attitude, it does not reflect uh, um, the, the daily behavior which Romelu shows here at Cobham. But you need to ask him, not me, I cannot uh, help you further with, with this because uh, I was surprised. Last two, James. Just, just finally on, on Romelu, Thomas, will he face any disciplinary action or will you at least be sitting down to discuss these comments with him? We will, we will, and we will do it behind closed doors and, um, and we will do it uh, uh, openly, um, like I think the relation is uh, and has always been. So um, no further comments in, in public on that. Hi, uh, uh, Thomas. I hope you're well. Um, just a couple from me. Yeah. Just in terms of Lukaku, I, you've, you've answered very eloquently there. But is the noise around Lukaku louder because the team's results have not been not been what you want and that is what happens at a club like Chelsea? Maybe it feels louder, but I think it would have been loud anyway with these kind of headlines. You cannot win enough to, to, to not talk about these headlines in media. I mean, this is... Uh, Today's world is today's world, and everything you say has a certain is is out there in public. If you are like a uh, such a big player like Romelu, and um, and he's an experienced player, and uh, he he surely knows what 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 kind of uh, value it has when he when he speaks out uh, messages like this. I don't think that it would have another impact. Maybe it's a bit easier to deal with, of course, like. Like everything, uh, by the way, it, everything is easier, training is easier, uh, uh, press conference is easier, uh, um, like, like everything is easier when you win, um, but this has nothing to do with that, so it so would have been easier to deal with the noise, yes, but would have been the same noise, I guess. And just the last one from me, it is about the car, kind of. How important is it for the harmony of your dressing room and the harmony of, of, of the club at Chelsea? That you sort out the problem or, or the, the problems that he has, you sit down and, and you go through it with him, um, or is it a question of he's your employee, he does what you tell him to do? 
It's a question of both, you know, like a dressing room is not necessary to be always in harmony. It's absolutely not necessary to be successful. We don't have to hug each other, love each other every single day. Sometimes good to be on, a, on the edge, sometimes good to be a bit like, um, yeah, in, a, in, a, in, in disharmony when it is in between certain boundaries. Um, the thing with, with Romelu is that uh, I don't think that anybody in this building is aware that he's unhappy and that what makes us very surprised about his statements. So first of all we need to check because I can see no reason why this should be like this. Um, and that's all I can see, uh, say about it and, and wait what, what, what Romelu says and, and then we will deal with it.